go bug Hello lovers Hello disco lovers Hello This is my love affair with gold and disco <laughs> May disco save us all May disco deliver our soul to the promised land May disco deliver all of us oh. It's another love affair between me and Disco and Gold. Mm. How you guys doing? What's going on? Uh, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been trading gold for for decades now, uh, and I have a real, true love to gold. Yet uh, I look at it as an instrument to make money, a vehicle. So I, I, I love it. I wish gold and gold miners and gold bugs nothing but the best. But I want to make money. It's not about love. Uh, and, and, uh, and a lot of my friends call me Mr. Gold. So I really am a gold lover. So if I, if I am bearish on gold, that doesn't mean I hate gold. I really would love gold to go up and up and up and up. But uh, uh, first, I, I do have um, a bearish um, uh, Elliott Wave count. And I do agree of the big B thing, your scenario A, B, and C to the downside. I, I, I do believe that. But I'm not here to, to discuss Iliad Wave because a lot of gold bugs uh, don't like that count and they always discount it. So it's okay. I'm not upset. But uh, this is a weekly, uh, a weekly time frame for gold. So I could, I could just look at certain things and uh, and, and uh, present a bearish case for gold. Uh, my first uh, take on that bearish case is uh, silver is lagging gold. That's not always the, that's not a very bullish historically. This, uh, the gold silver ratio should always go down in a healthy um, gold, gold bull market. You can go back in history and then and you know that's true. Uh, some people think this time is different. I don't, really don't know. Maybe it's true. So my first trick is, is gold silver ratio is going up, which means silver is lagging. So gold made a new uh, seven years high and silver is still lagging. Didn't even make a two years high. So that's not a good thing. Same with gold miners. Uh, gold made... Uh, uh, yeah, gold miners are lagging. They did not confirm that gold new high that made uh, last week. So, so two two things for gold now: uh, the divergence between uh, gold new high and silver lagging, and gold min miner lagging. Third, this is the weekly time frame. So I'm looking at the. Uh, the relationship between the price action and the RSI uh, price here. Uh, historically, when you have a, a very a severe uh, equal or very bearish divergence, the, uh, the price action go down. This is true in August uh, to September uh, 2016. Uh, the RSI didn't confirm it. And it collapsed almost it's it's a big big uh, price collapse right here also from ex October September 2017 till April 2018 RSI lagged it's a bearish divergence and it has a, almost a collapse back then it was really scary flush it was a flush back then too and also uh, from August uh, 2019 to Feb uh, 2020, clear bearish divergence and a really a historical flush. It's the fastest gold uh, price collapse, I think, as far as I'm thinking. I've been doing gold since the early 2000s. Yeah, this is this was the fastest by far. And now you have another bearish divergence between, uh, yeah, uh, March, no, April till today, June 2020, and a clear bearish divergence. And God knows uh, what's going to happen. 
Uh, plus, this is not a good candle uh, in the weekly time frame. It's very bearish. Chosen decision, chose uh, price rejection. Uh, it's not. It's not a an uplifting candle. That is. Tr that's for sure. And uh, so, hence, uh, that's why I'm very bearish on gold. So I have nothing to do. I have nothing against gold. I really love gold. I traded gold. I made money off of gold. I lived off of gold. So I have no desire to to bash gold. I really don't. And plus, I talked about the uh, correlations, TLT, bond. You know, there's no, there's no perfect positive relationship with TLT and bond. TLT is lagging gold. It's not confirming the high. It's like the Dow Industrial and Dow, and, uh, and Dow Transport confirmation. You know, I, 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 some, some things that have, must confirm each other. And also, the, the historical uh, inverse relationship with the dollar is not perfect either. So that is why I'm bearish on gold. I love gold and I love gold bucks. And I want you to just go on. I really do. I really do want you to just go on, gold bucks. I love you. I really do. I wish I'm wrong. I'm not shorting gold. I'm not shorting gold. So I would love to see gold going up. So please do remember that. I love you and I love disco. I love the world. I love life. May the next life be more beautiful than this life. I love you. Just go on.